Ryan Garcia is arguably, not even arguably, scratch that. This man is the fastest lightweight in the division. You know, it's clear. It's almost not even close. And with arguably one of the most deadliest left hooks. I mean, I, I mean, I think that's something to be said, man. Uh, we all know uh, that he don't, he, he'll land the left hook on your temple, you know, uh, wherever, in the ribs. We, we all know this, 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 this left hook that knocked down so many people. You know, um, we all know this guy, Ryan Garcia, is electric. King Ryan, King Ryan. Um, this man, uh, shout out to Golden Boy Promotions, The Zone. You already know what it is. This man is definitely, you know, a superstar, you know, in boxing right now. You know, uh, some people give this guy flack for whatever reason, uh, but he, he's definitely, you know, up there, you know, uh, with some of the greats that's out there. Um, hey, 20, 23 and 0 right now, man. 19, 19, 19 wins, by the way, a knockout. You know, um, this guy's the truth, man. Um, this guy's got a seven uh, foot uh, reach. You know, um, this man is from California. You know, um, he, he's the truth, man. You know, Ryan, uh, Ryan Garcia is definitely being promoted by Oscar De La Hoya. All of us know uh, Oscar De La Hoya. This guy signed Floyd Kid Austin Schofield. You know, uh, Ryan Garcia, he's just coming off of a big-time win against uh, Javier uh, Fortuna. You know, um, where, where he put where he won that in knockout fashion. He beat Emmanuel Tagawa, you know, by unanimous decision. You know, uh, so... He continues to stockpile victories, you know, um, and what's happening right now is his name. I know not a lot of people might hear his name ringing bells, like a, almost like a cowbell, you know. Um, you hear the name Javante Tank Davis, you know, uh, that name continues to come up. You know, uh, obviously, there's so many super fights, you know, that you could have when you start to rank this division. You know, obviously, Javante Tank Davis being the WBA, you know, uh, you know, champion, you know, lightweight champion, residing in Baltimore, from Baltimore. You already know the Southpaw, age 27. Tank Davis, you know, th this man knockout rating is a 92%, ladies and gentlemen. You could do the math. You know, uh, this man power is electrifying, you know, um, but some people feel like, you know, Ryan Garcia could beat Tank, you know, for whatever reason. You know, uh, I, I, I listen, I, I have no dog in this fight. You know, um, I reserve my right to make my selections once the let's get this fight established first before we start predicting and all this, that and the third. I would make I would I would give my predictions once we get closer to something more concrete, you know, um, but I could just let y'all know I'm hearing things behind the scenes that this thing is done, you know, um, and I don't want to say like I said, I ain't gonna continue to say too much. Javante Tang Davis, this man is a powerhouse. Uh, but some people view him as the king of the lightweight division, you know, uh, 27 and 0, no losses, no draws, a uh, perfect record, you understand, 25 wins by the way, a knockout, you know, as I repeat, no losses, you know, uh, this man is coming off um, uh, a knockout, you know, that, that he uh, knocked out Rolando Romero Roley, everybody know about Roley, you know, um, he knocked him out in savage fashion, I mean, it was just savage, you know, the way he put his ass down, you know, um, put him down like a bad habit. You know, um, Roley was doing a lot of chirping, you know, uh, said like he was he was playing the Internet game very well. You know, for some people thought that uh, Roley was actually going to win for whatever reason. You know, um, at, at some point, I mean, when you hear a guy chirping, 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 you start to sip the Kool-Aid a little bit. You know, you, 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 you start to sip it. You start to start drinking the Kool-Aid. You know, and I think that's what was going on with Roley, you know, but I tell you what, Ryan Garcia is on a whole nother level. You know, this guy, um, like I said, this guy's uh, one, of the fast, one of the fastest guys in boxing and is not close. You know, um, it's just like with these two guys, you know, like I said, I'm not, I don't, I don't harp it too much, but obviously... This his speed and right hand eventually. I mean, pardon me, his left hand really in both hands are deadly, but that left hook is something else, you know. Um, I tell you what, you know, at some point, he is gonna have to lock horns with one of these guys and Devin Haney, um, like I said, Cambosis. Um, the list goes on, he's gonna have to lock horns because I think that's something that 
is it kind of, and I think that's something that kind of everybody deals with. It's not just something that should be singled out with Ryan Garcia. And it's not something that I'm saying. It's just the, what the critics are saying. You know, critics get on these guys, these undefeated fighters, you know, you know, for not stepping in there with some of the top guys that's right there with them. You know, uh, Ryan Garcia, you know, we all know what he did in the amateurs, him and Devin Haney. They, I believe they split in the amateurs. You know, uh, so this guy's got experience. They all know each other. That's another thing that uh, we got to point out there. Like, these guys know each other. They know what they, they're capable of. You know, uh, but Ryan Garcia, the sky is the limit. No matter if he's fighting Tank next or whatever, you know, give him major credit because it seemed like he's serious about this fight, but it seemed like they got to take care of the business side. You know, but he's he. this guy is definitely one of the superstars that they have in boxing. You know, uh, we all know what he did, you know, with this, with, like I said, that left hook. And he exhibits his um, speed uh, at any chance that he gets, you know. Um, he just continues to show it, you know. Uh, this guy became the interim, WBC interim world lightweight champion after, you know, uh, a TKO over Luke Campbell. You know, that was back in January um, of 2021. So, uh, like I said, this man continues to... Um, you know, do his thing in this division, you know, uh, but at some point we got to figure out who's really running this division. Uh, the media likes to, you know, highlight a select few names, but it's, it's ne remember, there's people all over the spectrum, man. I just want to let people know that. Um, and let's just see, man, you know, Ryan Garcia is on a collision course with somebody, you know, these guys are, are becoming, like I said, they're too great. This guy, Ryan Garcia, got an 82 percent knockout rating you know so this guy got power as well as the tank davis is obviously he don't hit so you're not going to say that he got more power than tank tank is the most powerful you know i would say hitter in this division you know and i and i don't think and i think that's by a landslide you know uh but you know like i said right now ryan garcia you can't mention ryan garcia's name and not bring up tank right now i'm just saying it's just it's, it's like they're going hand in hand you know, uh, but let's hope that something get rectified. But I do want to point out and bring awareness to you that Ryan Garcia got some of the fastest hands in boxing. Y'all let me know some of the potential matchups that Ryan Garcia could face in the future. You know, um, y'all stay tuned. Y'all go check out. Shout out to Golden Boy Promotions, man. Uh, salute to my guy, Kid Austin. Floyd Kid Austin Schofield. Uh, undefeated out of Austin, Texas. 11-0. and 0, Nine wins, by the way, a knockout. Uh, stable mates with Ryan Garcia. You know, so you already know what it is if, if a situation like that was to happen. Go, it's going to be hard for me to, to root against anything golden right now. So I'm going to let you know right now. It's Flight Sports TV. Everybody go check out the content that we got rolling out right now. Man, we got a lot of things going on right now. We appreciate everybody. If you're a boxing fan, hit that goddamn like button and hit that subscribe button. If you are light, if you if you rocking with the lightweights, this is definitely the place to be in all divisions. We got so much going on. It's Flight Sports TV.